I did tell you, sold. Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today we are going to have a lot of fun. It is a nice hot and sunny day in London. Uh, the weather is probably going to turn soon but I just thought as it is such a nice day I want to spend it out and about seeing what cars we have in this amazing city that I live in and uh, yeah just having a fun day because like I say it's all going to turn and then we're going to be like well we should have been out of there looking at all the cars but the place I've just arrived is Land Rover Battersea but I keep banging on about it the mode of transport right now is the scooter we've got the M2 we've got the 720s not finished just yet but this game changer 125 love it so much fun to get around town Today I just did a 20 minute journey in six minutes. Stay safe if you're riding, but it is a brilliant bit of kit as uh, this very nice Defender is parked just behind the car. Uh, the car? I'm so used to saying car. Moped. Yes, I have a moped, I don't have a car um, on me at the moment. So yeah, that is a really cool colour. And that, there is actually similar colour, I believe you can get the SV. Anyway, we have the Velar, which is very cool. We have the Sport in a very lovely blue colour. Seeing lots of these and I, well, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about an update on uh, these cars in London because they are getting nicked every five seconds. So I'll talk to you about that and uh, how we can sort that. But yeah, it is crazy how many of these are getting nicked. And it's a problem for me buying a Range Rover. So obviously for me having a Range Rover Sport in London, it is a problem for obvious reasons. Handover coming up. So the cars come into the handover bay. Oh, 73 plates now. We're on 73 plates. It's ridiculous that we are now on 73 plates. That is so nice. Oh. Guys, quickly, this video has been sponsored by True Classic. True Classic is an absolute game changer and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. As many of you guys would see on my channel, I love clothes that fit me properly. I'm massively into the gym, everything else, and I love, see my tricep, I love how well these fit. And it's the quality as well of all of the tops and tees is really good. Personally, I see myself wearing this potentially on a night out, but then we also have the tee as well. That's perfect for me. And we also have the white one, which is even better for me because I love wearing sort of a jacket with a white t-shirt underneath and it just fits so, so good. This one is mega as well because this is kind of khaki. This is actually, when we open it up, this is actually the same color, do you remember, as my Audi RS6, khaki. Issue is I just don't have the RS6 anymore. All in all, the premium tees from True Classic are designed for guys' body. They definitely accentuate the arms and the shoulders just to make you feel good. They're also super, super soft and they also wash very well and even better, reasonably priced. So you guys need to get involved with True Classic. The link is in the description and also in the pinned comment. Go, 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 and let me know what you think. What we have here, we have another big Range Rover, as you can see. I love them, they're so, so good. They are the absolute dream. And what, is, and what we have directly here is the Range Rover Sport V8. Now, if you remembered, I had this car in order. So let me quickly explain to you because yes, that's a good word. This was the, the, the you know the first V8 range of sport I'd been in for the new modern generation. I was like, yep, ordered, job done, and uh, it was on its way. Now I'll talk to you a little bit about that in just a second. But this is super nice with the uh, with the white interior as well. Love that, and well, I did tell you, sold. So what are we here to do today? Well. We're not here to pick it up because uh, yeah, it's uh, not coming to my garage and this is not my exact car. Um, I'll tell you about that because the, the reason is, is there's a big reason. The Range Rover Sport V8 and the Range Rover Sport, I went for the diesel hybrid as well. Those two cars, yeah, they're not coming to my garage. I'll tell you exactly why. So they were slightly delayed. There was a massive delay uh, with the V8 engine, etc., etc. In the car, in the car world as it is, it's just delay, delay, delay. My Range Rover Sport V8. I couldn't actually even spec the car. Like when I went to go and order my Range Rover Sport first edition, couldn't even spec the V8. Um, so we're like, right, okay, we'll get the Sport Hybrid now, and then you can get the V8 when we can spec them. I was like, sounds good. Anyway cut long story short then the Range Rover Sport SV was announced and then basically spoke to Range Rover and we were just like well you can't have a V8 
<laughs> first edition and an SV, do you want to go all in and have an allocation on the all new range of Sport SV? And that is when I just went, you know what? Yes, because that's the car which is super, super rare. There's not many of them coming and it is the last. Uh, even though this V8 next to me is lovely, it's nowhere near on a level of the SV. So the SV is like the Euros competitor, etc. So I hope that sort of clears it up on all these Range Rovers. Here we go. Where is my Range Rover Sport SV? You are probably wondering because that V8 looks amazing. Right, we're gonna go through the spec. I think that's something which I really wanted to do and actually go through every single option which you can do on this new Range Rover Sport SV. Um, before we get going, this is expensive, okay? Um, I'm well aware I'm not buying it because, you know, of the price. I'm buying it more because this is it. This is the final one. We're heading into a weird time where petrol cars are all kind of stopping and these flagship cars like the SVR is uh, is gonna be departing us and all going hybrid, etc. So this is the final one. Model, Range of Sport SV Edition 1. Um, it comes with a lot of sort of basic stuff as well. SV carbon exterior pack, LED headlights, SV bespoke paint, because you know, they're all SVs obviously. Body and soul seat, which is incredible. It's basically, music which comes through your seat. It's really weird, but really cool. So that's something which is happening as well. So can't wait for that. It's a proper bit of kit. It's way better than an Urus. Uh, and the engine, let's talk about the engine quickly. Uh, so V8, mild hybrid, 3.6 to the 0 to 60. You can go for carbon bronze, which is the one we have directly in front of us, or we can choose obsidian black. You will save yourself 13 and a half grand if you go stealth, which is, Still looks amazing, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's uh, more of a basic option, but you can go satin black, you can do other things like that. And we also have flux silver. So again, very, very cool. And none of these, I'm not sure on that interior, we can change that. Uh, but none of these have the carbon wheels. I'm not sure on the non-carbon wheels, but carbon wheels is a problem because you curb carbon wheel. It's not good. Carbon bronze, which I have gone for, which is uh, pretty crazy. It adds a couple of things to it. Uh, it adds ceramic brakes to it, calipers, stand interior. Carbon wheels are standard if you pick the carbon bronze package. I think it makes the car look way better. It really does. The paint and the wheels and everything else. Surely they all come with panoramic roof. Maybe not. Fair enough. That's needed, flipping out. Okay, so the carbon wheels, you can untick the carbon wheels and save yourself <laughs> nearly 10 grand. <laughs> flipping out, if anyone curves my wheels. Just insane. Um, carbon wheels for me look the best, but what I am doing is getting the carbon wheels and if I cannot live with the carbon wheels, I'll just replace them straight away and just put Vossen wheels on them and actually keep the wheels which I have and then potentially sell them when I sell the car eventually. So yeah, but there you can't sell the car straight away. There's a super watertight agreement to make sure customers don't sell cars. So yeah, that's not the case. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do in terms of that. Is it like get the wheels, keep them, you can always sell them rather than get the other wheels, which yeah, I don't know, but anyway. So let's look at the interior. So interior wise, um, we have gone for this one, which is very like cool. It's the, the white interior with the black. Looks amazing personally, I think it works. Um, so that, headlining wise, I like quite like interior where it's like this. I've had an SVR where it has sort of cream interior. I personally think it works. Um, so that, yeah, and it's got the, it's got the, sort of finish, which looks amazing, like the carbon finish everywhere, as you can see down here. I can show you as well. Packs, let's go to packs. Advanced assist, so no, but it is electronically deployable, so yeah, maybe. Um, so let's look at some of the options for the interior. SV, let's steering wheel, configure, no, yeah. Uh, climate control, you're probably gonna need full zone climate control. Cabin air purification. Refrigerator, might as well. Got to keep the Coke Zero, it's very nice and cool. Backup system, 36 months, probably not. Can get that 
altered elsewhere and I'll freak out that someone will work out the Land Rover hacker trackers and then you'll lose your car in about five minutes. Garage, door opener, don't need. Uh, first aid kit, don't need. Tire repair system, nah, whatever. Cool, so that's that. My dog, well I don't have a dog, but my mum does. Uh, <laughs> a ladder for my dog. Deployable side steps. Three and a half grand, no, because I can just get ones that fit all, all the time. But personally, I'm all about dash, uh, not dash cam, <laughs> side steps which are fixed. I don't like deployables, so three and a half grand for that, absolutely not. So with my spec, it's all like locked in very early doors. Um, so something that I don't even know I've got or I do, but it's close enough. That is basically the spec. Carbon wheels, bronze, and everything else. So if we go to summary, dum, 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 that is the car basically, and you can send it to your retailer, but mine's already done. Um, and then that is that is it. So it's, it's a super, super cool car. Um, now let's talk about when this car is gonna be coming. Now my car, I know for a fact, it is one of the UK's first cars, which is very exciting. Um, so I personally believe don't quote me on this, before the end of the year, my car will be here. Going into winter, it's the perfect time for the car. 188 grand, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but I genuinely think these are gonna hold their money. Like the old SVR now is like 70, 80 grand, but this is the last. Carbon wheels, everything else, it tracks amazingly, it's quick, it's just everything about it. So this is it, this is the car. And I personally think we're gonna have an amazing time with it. I hope you guys are super excited as well as I am. I cannot wait. It's uh, it's gonna be cool. We have a few different cars arriving, but the SV, I just wanna use it. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Let me know what you think. Have I gone for the right spec or the wrong spec? Let me know. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video and in the winter with my Range Rover Sport SV.